Rescue Tonight efforts now underway to protect Texas beaches, including South Padre Island, from disappearing. The feds have a plan, but first they want to hear from you. Channel 5 Sierra Pizarro, live with details. Sierra. Christine, the government spent the last three years studying how to protect the Texas coast from dangerous weather. They say it only takes one perfect storm to destroy everything. Severe weather and what it's capable of can be unpredictable. We're always at edge because we're only one storm away from total destruction. To help reduce total destruction, the Army Corps of Engineers launched a $20 million coastal Texas study in 2015. It's rough results presented tonight. Dr. Kelly Brooks Copes explains what sparked the study. Large storms have been hitting the Gulf uh, Coast up and down all along Texas for quite a while now. South Padre Island hasn't been the target of too many storms, but a couple memorable ones are Beulah in 67, which caused 15 deaths and over $200 million in damage. Then there was Dolly in 2008, which raised the sea level two to four feet along the Texas coast. Dolly did some beach ero erosion. Uh, since then, the city has established a very good funding system for our beach nourishment and our beach maintenance. Uh, through the hotel tax. Crews on SPI battle beach erosion by building a sandbar structure, which helps protect the shoreline and dunes. That system is called dredging. The South Padre Island has been using since about 1988 dredging material. It's called beneficial use placement idea, uh, where we take sand out of the channels and we move it onto land and we build dunes and we build beaches out in front of coastal communities. So that's one component of this plan. The plan calls for a 12 foot tall, 20 foot wide raised bank of sand and a 100 foot wide beach across much of South Padre Island. It'll protect our community, so this is very important. Uh, it'll put a lot of people's hearts and minds at rest uh, if this happens. The plan isn't done. That's why they're here tonight. Texans have the chance to submit their ideas on the proposal until January 9th. It can be submitted through email to coastaltexas at usace.army.mil. And this is a long-term project. The final draft of the plan isn't expected to be finished until 2021. After that, it'll be presented to Congress for funding. In the studio, Sierra Pizarro, Channel 5 News at 10.